All right, so let's prove that this language, zero to the n, one to the m, where n is less than, strictly less than, 3m is not regular. So this turns out to be a very standard proof. So let's suppose that L were regular. Then by the pumping lemma, there exists a pumping constant P. I'm just going to abbreviate it to exist a P for this particular language L. So now what we need to do is we need to pick a string that is in that language L and has length at least P. So let's think, well, let's pick a string that has some number of zeros, some number of ones, and the number of zeros is strictly less than three times the number of ones. So what we want is a lot of zeros because multiplying the number of ones by three, uh, that's in the range of where n needs to be because we want to eventually contradict this. So let's choose, uh, let's see, so what can we pick? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick P1s to start with. And what we need is that the number of zeros is less than 3P because that's what the condition up here is saying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick 0 to the 3P minus 1. So this is just barely in the language. If I had one more zero, then it's going to immediately leave the language. And in fact, that's exactly what we're going to try to do. So uh, this is the string that we're going to pick. It's in the language because it matches the condition. And it has length at least p. In fact, it has 4p minus 1, which is definitely at least p. Cool. So what we need to do now is we need to look at all decompositions of this string into those three parts, according to the rules. So look at all decompositions, I'm going to abbreviate it to decomps again, um, of w into x, y, and z. And the rules are that x and y have length at most p, and y is not empty, so y has length at least 1. So what are these? Well, uh, x, y has length at most p, and the first p characters at least are zeros, so we know that x and y parts are consisting of zeros. So x is some number of zeros. I'm just going to call the number of zeros alpha. y I'm going to call the number of zeros beta because they may be totally different from each other. Beta is at least 1 because we know y is non-empty. And z is the whole rest of the string. Well, we have 3p minus 1 zeros in total minus alpha minus beta from the x and y taking that many zeros. And then we have all of the ones still in there. Okay, so this is just one, all possible decompositions are of this form that, that we ever need to consider. So what we need to do now is to choose some value i, some number i, such that x, y to the i, z is not in L because we want to contradict the for all statement in the pumping lemma. So let's look at what x, y to the i is. So x, y to the i, z is, let's just copy the pieces down. So we have 0 to the alpha, 0 to the i beta because we have i copies of y. And then I'm just going to copy z down. Oops. So I'm going to do it again. So 0 to the 3p minus 1, minus alpha, minus beta, 1 to the p. So uh, this run of zeros, uh, we have a run of zeros here, so I can just collapse the exponents down. So the alphas are going to get killed off, plus alpha minus alpha. So here we're going to have 0 to the 3p uh, minus 1, plus i beta, minus beta and then all of the ones are still there. So what we can reasonably conclude now is that this thing is in L if and only if the number of zeros is strictly less than three times the number of ones because that's exactly what the, the language is saying. So it's in L if and only if 3p minus one plus i beta minus beta is strictly less than 3p, three times the number of ones, which is what that is. 
So this is if and only if we can minus the three p on both sides. It, it's exactly the same. Uh, it's equivalent expression. So minus one plus i beta minus beta is less than one. And then I'm just going to algebraically manipulate things. Oops, this needs to be uh, zero because I subtracted three p on both sides. So then I add one to both sides. So i beta minus beta is less than one. And then let's see. So if we pick an i such that this right, this left hand side is strictly is either one or bigger, then we're done. I claim that we can pick uh, two for this. So let's choose i equal to two. Well, then what happens is two beta minus beta is equal to beta, and we know that that is at least one because the part that we pump is not empty. So this thing is at least one. And so that contradicts the fact of this being less than one. And so it is not in the language for that reason. So x, y to the power two, z is not in the language. And then therefore that contradicts the for all statement saying that uh, because, based on the assumption that this were regular. And so therefore it is not regular.